On February 2nd, the entire student body met up in the gym for some friendly class competition in school spirit. Student council organized the second pep rally of the year. How does the student council decide what events and activities will be featured at each pep rally? We used to like TikTok a lot to just come up with ideas and we like get ideas from past pep rallies and sometimes we'll ask people just what they want. Can you share any behind the scenes moments or challenges faced while preparing for the pep rally? Yeah, yeah. we really do spend about all day today like, in different intervals to to figure out what we can do and how we can display it so that the pep rally is good for everybody. Today is your favorite and why? Probably the three point contest. It's my man's Greg over here. He gonna smack him like, I'm gonna give you the beam, you don't even got a chance, bro. It's cool though, it's cool. The event included games such as hamster ball fights, tug of war, three point contest, meeting competition, and more. How do you think events like the pep rally contribute to school spirit and unity amongst students? It, it just like brings everyone together and it's just a fun time for everyone. Everyone comes out and everyone cheers for each other. Is the class of 2024 very a spirited uh, class? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we can all come together like this and get hype. How do you think events like the pep rally contribute to school spirit and unity among students? Because everybody plays together and everybody watches. What was going through your mind playing the hamster ball and how does it feel to be the hamster ball champion? Yo, it feels good, you know, pump people, pump, pump people on the ground. But I'm not even gonna lie, I was hard to breathe in that thing. So, a lot of oxygen not going to the brain. I couldn't really think, but I was just trying to hit people as hard as possible. You know, stop fighting with me. Let's go. Describe the pep rally in five words. Uh, loud, exciting, entertaining. That's three. Funny, I guess you could say, and competitive. What parts of the pep rally do you find most entertaining? Uh, the parts of the pep rally I find most entertaining are all the eating competitions because you got a bunch of guys just grubbing on food. All right, what was going through your head when you was eating all them Twinkies, and how does it feel to be the eating competition champion? So, first and foremost, I'm going to thank God. He gave me the opportunity to go out there and eat the Twinkies today. Further all, you know, I had to put on for my guys, ABG members, because you already know what it is. How does it feel to be the three-point contest champions? I mean, I just knew we were winning going into it, so, like, I wasn't really worried. Same with my teammate. No, I got caught from JV. I had to show coach who was the real shooter here. Freshman tug of war champions. Well, you know, we already knew we were gonna win. You know, that chain go home. Freshman, you know, we take that, take that to heart. I had, we had to get our get back last time for the seniors. We had an infield. It, it was already over. Too late. What was going through your head when you were playing musical chairs, and how does it feel to be the champion? It feels good, and I was just trying to get around as fast as I could to the next closest chair. You only have one more pep rally after this one. Tell me how that makes you feel. Um, makes me feel kind of nervous, you know. After this, you really move on with our lives. No more high school. Uh, it's time to live a life and see what we become. So we'll see what happens. For the Devil's Advocate, this is Justin Dowdy and Cameron Bronox signing out.